Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch and Carry. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, testing the battery cells on your One Wheel Plus. And I'm assuming the One Wheel XR2 should work in the same manner. So why would you wanna do this? Some people run um, different applications aside from the official Future Motion One Wheel app. A couple of them that come to mind are One Wave or uh, PO Wheel. Both great apps, they go a little bit more beyond what you can get from the typical one wheel app. And one of those features that you can get on the app is telling the individual uh, battery cell voltages. So inside the one wheel plus, and I think the XR2, you have 16 cells. And so usually what you wanna do is check, you know, those cells every now and then to make sure that number one, you're getting a reading and then number two, that they're balanced. So sometimes you might have one of those 16 that is completely off. Sometimes you might have one or more of those cells that has no number. They're just like a couple of dashes. And so what you can do is some a typical procedure like this to kind of diagnose and see if the problem is really a bad battery cell. So I have a One Wheel Plus battery here in front of you. This is the housing. You can watch some videos on YouTube how to take apart the housing to do so. Uh, you're gonna need a few tools for this job. You're gonna need a micro driver here. So something that has a Torx bit on it that's really small. I don't know the size of this because this is just a cheap one from uh, the store that I got. So you'll just have to find the right size. Get the brightness up here a bit. There we go. Okay, and you're gonna take that small Torx bit and go around the perimeter of this battery box here. Then for these over here, you're gonna use a very small screwdriver, something really thin. Okay, and this will be a Phillips. Again, sorry for the lighting here. I'm in my garage, so I don't really have the best lighting. Okay, and then you will need a broad flathead um, uh, screwdriver, so something like this. Okay, something nice and broad. There we go. And then lastly, you will need a multimeter. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your micro driver. Once you have the battery case out, go around one, two, and three sides with this to remove those um, fasteners. Then you're going to take your very small Phillips and go on this side and remove those fasteners. Once you get those off, you can carefully remove the battery box case and that's what it will look like. Okay. Now on the inside here, it's gonna look a little bit different than mine uh, because I've already disassembled this. But what you're gonna need is you will find a few connections here. So let me reconnect these back to show you what it would look like once you opened it. Okay, there we go. So this is typically what you would find here, okay? Now we are gonna focus on a couple of white uh, balancing plugs here and here, and that's where all of your testing is going to be done, okay? So to test it, we have to take them off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your broad flathead screwdriver here, okay? Now if you're using metal, you just need to be careful that you are not touching anything metal inside of this board. So this is plastic and that's okay, but just be very careful where you go. Once you get to your um, balancing plug, you're gonna go to the very end of it on one side. It doesn't matter where you start and give it a twist. Go to the other side, twist, and do that again. And then this will usually just come off, okay? Then you have another one here on this side. Again, start at one end of the plug, twist, and twist again, and take it off, okay? We've got one more plug to go, this one right here. Now in the back of this, you can just put something small or if you have some nails and just kind of pry on that to take it off. Like that, okay? Be very careful about what you're touching here in the board. Try to prevent this um, board from flexing at all, of course, because that is quite expensive. And then these two plugs here, these two we can just leave alone, okay? 
In fact, these need to be connected for you to do this. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, you have 16 cells on your One Wheel Plus and also the One Wheel XR, I believe. So we need to take 16 readings. Now, the readings are all gonna come from these two balancing plugs like I talked about, and you're gonna be testing just the reds on that plug and the reds on this plug. So one of them is larger than the other, okay? As you can see here. So let's focus on the shorter one first. So you can see here, let's count how many reds we have. All right, let's see if that's focused. Okay, so you can see here that we have how many red wires coming out of here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we can test for eight cells with just this one balancing plug. On the other side, the larger one, let's count the red wires. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven here and eight here. That's 15, so what happens to the 16th one? The 16th one is a little bit trickier. Um, what you need to do is you need to actually test one of the pins from here on the larger and one of the pins on the smaller at the same time using your two probes from your multimeter. So let's go ahead and show you how to measure the easy ones first. So right now I am on the small plug. Okay, I'm gonna take my multimeter and I'm gonna set it to DCV. Okay, DCV, all right. Then what you need to do is, the hardest part about this is just keeping everything down with only two hands, okay? So what I like to do sometimes is just grab, um, you can grab this little adhesive here that comes on your battery, okay? Or you can just grab a regular piece of tape might be better so that way you can preserve this but I don't have one in front of me right now so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna lay this down over the wiring like that so it stays in place okay all right and what we're gonna do is take our black okay and let's put this in view so you can see. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna put it on the black, actually. It's the furthest pin and touch that pin. Then I'm gonna take my red and put it on the pin next to it, the first red. And let's see what kind of a reading we get here. Okay, so 3.34. Usually you wanna be around 3.33 or 3.34, so that's good. That's cell number one. Let's check the next one. To check the next one, you'll shift the red over one and the black over one. So red goes into a new pin, black goes where the red used to be. And when we test this one, again, we have 3.33, that's good. Red shifts over, black shifts over. Good, red shifts over, black shifts over. You're gonna keep doing this all the way until this red probe gets to the last red here. Okay, that's gonna be number eight. Okay, and let's test that last one, 3.34, 3.33, so that's normal. So that procedure, you're gonna, gonna do it for all these reds here. <coughs> and then you're gonna repeat the exact same thing on the larger balancing plug. Again, starting with the black probe on the black and the red probe on the red next to it, all the way till the red gets to the last red, okay? And that will give you 15 cells that you've now tested. So what about that weird 16th one? So for the 16th, let me try to lay this down here so you can see it. There we go, okay. 
So for the 16th, let's get both in shot here. And I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so in front of you now, you have the large balancing plug here and the, the smaller white balancing plug here. You're gonna take your red probe and put it on the very, you're gonna put it on the red pin that's closest to the blank, the empty pin. So this is empty here. This one is red, so I'll put it there. Okay, and then you're gonna take your black pin and put it on the very first red as well. Or did I get that backwards? Maybe I got that backwards. Let me try the other way. Nope, maybe it's the other way. Huh. All right, so I took a pause there. Actually, I was incorrect. To, text the, to test the 16th cell, you're gonna go to your large balancing plug here, the white one, take the red probe of the multimeter and put it on the black pin, okay? And then you're gonna take your black probe and you're gonna put it on the red pin that is just adjacent to the blank. So this is blank here where I'm pointing with the black and this is the first red next to it. So now I'll put this in view so you can see what happens when I do that. And you can see there 3.34. 3.33, and that will give us our 16th cell. <clears throat> so again, that's a look at how to um, test the individual battery cells on your uh, battery pack for the Plus and the XR, I think. Um, this same procedure is very similar for those of you that have the uh, 2X modified uh, expanded battery system by Soren and his company. The colors on these are a little bit different, but the procedure is pretty much the same thing here. So anyways, that'll do it for today's video. Uh, if you have any questions at all, or you have any uh, tips or advice that I might have missed, please put them down below. And as always, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.